Let's talk more about the C919. Mike Boyd joins us live from the U.S. city of Denver. He's an aviation security analyst with Boyd Group Aviation Consulting. Thank you so much for joining us. My honor. Mike, first, the specs of this plane. It seats 158 passengers, has a range of just over 4,000 kilometers. What do you think about it? How does it stack up? It's right in the sweet spot of what demand will be over the next 10 years. Uh, 130 to 170 seat jets are going to be over 70 percent of the market for new airplanes. And of course, in China, there's a market for about 5,300 new jets you know, over the next 10 years, according to our forecast. So the airplane itself is exactly right. The problem is it's coming out a little bit late. So regardless, China has to build this airplane. It's going to be an airplane that will be certificated all around the world. The question is, how many can they actually sell? Well, as you mentioned, you know, it hasn't gotten off the ground yet. It's several years away from entering a commercial fleet, but it already has 500 orders. Um, what does that tell you about demand for this airplane? We've got to put those orders in, in context. They're direct orders from a, of about 170 aerpl airplanes for airlines themselves. Uh, airlines themselves. The rest of the orders, with the exception of one American company, they're all from financial institutions who are going to have to market those airplanes somewhere else. So regardless of that, we have 500 on order. Uh, Airbus has 4,000 of the similar airplane on order right now. But the reality is China must build this airplane or they will not have a, an industry going forward. It's a wonderful and important investment for the nation. For decades, China has been on a quest for homegrown aviation and technology. How important, you touched on it a second ago, is the C919 for this country? It's critical for China. If China is going to be part of the global uh, airframe manufacturing industry, the C191 is the basis of it all, not the ARJ21. This airplane we're talking about today is going to be the future. Now, it's going to be an investment. It may not make money eventually, but it will be an investment on which in 15 years, China will be alongside the U.S., France, and Brazil, and Canada as a major manufacturer. This plane set to make its debut in 2019. What do you think China's aviation industry will look like in the decades ahead? Well, we show, again, about 5,300 airplanes that China is going to need going forward. Most of those are net new, not replacement. But uh, remember, China is a, gr a growing nation. We're going to see ups and downs, but overall, I think this airplane will have a role there. But what's most important is what comes after this airplane based upon what they've, they've developed. That will be the exciting thing. We'll see that after 2019. And, you know, we mentioned this. China just ordered several <coughs> aircraft from both Boeing and Airbus, uh, totaling in the billions of dollars. <coughs> what does this mean for competition? Well, they have to, you know, China must order those airplanes to become competitive with the rest of the world. Right now, with these new generation uh, A320s and new generation Boeing 737s, they must, all airlines must get them or they're going to be out of the program. So that's what's here today. The C919 will add to it later on. But again, the real future is going to be what COMAC comes up with after the C919. That'll be exciting. And Mike, are we seeing any other developments like this around the world, any other countries that are putting out new airplanes like this? A absolutely. Uh, the other one is Canada. Canada's putting out an airplane called the C-Series, which Comac was working with at one point. That airplane is so good, it scared Boeing and Airbus into bringing out new airplanes, airplanes of the type of the C919. But that's about it. But overall, we're going to have we're going to have room for Comac, we're going to have room for Bombardier, and we're going to have room for Boeing and Airbus. All right, Mike Boyd joining us from Denver. Thank you so much for your time and your insight.